The closed question type, also called embedded answer, can contain multiple choice, short answer, and numerical all within the same question. So again, this is going to be similar to that calculated question we saw, where there's tons of different choices you can do. And again, you can click, click on the question mark and get some more information and click more help. From the Moodle.org page, I'm going to borrow a question that they have an example of. And if you look through here, you can see different type of question types you can have. So if I were to put this question in my box, it's going to spit it out to look like this, to where I can have a drop down for each question. And then for the short answer, I would type in. And again, it is case sensitive if you choose to. And it is checking for correct spelling. So we're going to call this the closed question. And we're going to give it the question text of what I just copied. And we'll see how, since we have these curly braces in here, this is specifying a multiple choice and what is correct and what is not. And it's also specifying a short answer. We could change this to matching or true false or anything else that we see from this Moodle.org page. Once we finished, we can scroll down and we can check decode and verify the question text. When we click that, it's going to refresh the page and we can scroll down and see those multiple choice questions and the short answer we've put in. We can also specify a penalty and a hint like we've seen before. So we'll save and close this question.